beautiful Morocco, a feast for the senses. This program has been made possible by the generosity of Corral Petroleum Holdings AB, the U.S. Morocco Council for Trade and Investment, the Moroccan National Tourist Office, and Royal Air Morocco. now and explore Morocco. Meet her terrific people, talented, friendly and dynamic, and through their expressions of art, music, architecture, design and fashion, discover what's most beautiful about Morocco. Truly a feast for the senses. A talented artist whose paintings vibrate with the warmth of Morocco. A modern young businesswoman who's a top executive at a tourist agency in Marrakesh. A brilliant software designer and artist who uses ancient symbols in his millennial designs. A renowned fashion designer who preserves the tradition of exquisite Moroccan kaftans. The counselor to His Royal Majesty King Mohammed VI talks about religious diversity in Morocco. The radiant bride and groom on the occasion of their traditional five-day wedding in Fez and their proud family. An American musician at the Essaouira Music Festival traces the roots of jazz. Moroccan architect who uses traditional building materials for his new housing development near Marrakesh. As dawn breaks in Morocco, every town on every coast and mountain range awakens. The old town, the Medina, comes to life, and the marketplace, the souk, greets you with exotic sounds and aromas. It's really fun to explore the labyrinth of the Kasbah and discover treasures in little shops gold and silver Berber jewelry, middle atlas mountain carpets, intricate silage work on wood, graceful calligraphy on parchment, delicate silk caftans, pottery, antiques, spices, and rare perfumes. You drift happily from one soup to another, downing endless glasses of mint tea, Faisal El Garba Uwi is part of the new generation of young Moroccans. She's the manager of a tourist agency in Marrakesh. All the country is working now to let young girls and ladies and women go out to study, to learn, to work, and to be working women, modern women, crossing Morocco from north to south, from east to west. It really wakes up all your senses. People, places, weather, history, culture, traditions, food, gardens, everything is beautiful in Morocco. When you, you can give two kisses, which is a tradition in our country, to a person, even if you say it ten times a day, as soon as you see it, just say, how are you doing? This is the best way to translate how warm can the Moroccan be. The city of Essaouira on the Atlantic seacoast has been an important trading port since the days of the Phoenicians. Every year, Essaouira holds an international festival of Ganawa music, attracting enthusiastic musicians and passionate audiences from all over the world. Now, originally were men from West Africa. They were brought to Morocco. So you had men that were brought from West Africa to America. And that's how, you know, blues, 
uh, field hollers and all those things, the beginning of folkloric music by blacks, it's the same music. The language is different, but the music itself and the spirit behind the music is the same. And you can hear it. It's very much like gospel music or blues. You know, it's like you can hear the call and the response. I can feel it, you know, I feel it, and I just go with it. transported, you know, to another place, and next thing I know, I'm just gone, you know, as <laughs> I'm playing and trying to keep up with them, and you get elevated to another experience. It's healing music. They, they, these people are healers. The Leelas are healing sessions, and that's very sacred. Then you have the women that are coming, and after a certain point, they're doing magic and things, and then people come to be healed, and they're going into spirits, and that's a very sacred thing. I've been to several leaders, you know, and to me that's fantastic. That's really, that's really when you see what the Ganawa are really about. Mohamed Malehi is one of the founding artists of modern art in Morocco. He was born on the Atlantic seacoast town of Basila. Malehi's exquisite paintings are exhibited in major galleries all over the world. We are welcomed by Mohamed Malehi and his family. Let me speak about Marrakesh. Always we have eastern wind blowing. So all the humidity from the sea is away. Then the colors here have another density because of the wind, because of the atmosphere. Now, if you go more to the desert, colors have another density. So, my, in my opinion, the wind plays a big role in color language. My painting are based on bright colors. Color, for me, is like an alphabet which you can use in painting to combine ideas and I happen to draw the same painting and change colors on the same composition and then the, the communication is completely different. You know, that means colors can talk to you. Its population express themselves through designs. It's a very manual culture. Although it's at the same time very spiritual, very attached to this religion, Islam, is a religion of tolerance, pragmatic. You see, it's the third biblical religion. To me, Sufi or Sufism is a, 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 a technique to get to the final illumination. You, you reach it through action, through work, because the quest for God is not a prescription. So, so you have to, to clear the path so you can get there. And I think the Sufi has, have done this work insisting strongly on the beauty of God. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Aziv Shefshauni, a software designer from Rabat, who takes his inspiration from hundreds of years of Moroccan art, and from the abstract patterns of mosaic work, known as zelige. His programs are used by designers of fabric and furniture, as well as mosaics. Shefshauni integrates spirituality into his work. My art is, first of all, trying to bring the roots of the past, the wisdom of 13th or 14th centuries of Islamic art, for which Morocco has been an important pioneer. It's the synergy between art, science, and spirituality. Well, I had made 
the design. It's a, a computer-generated image based on the sunflower fractal system. So if you could see, it's a design made by nature. It just happened that I understood uh, the algorithm of it and put it through a computer to have uh, artifacts out of it. When we see these artists working uh, in the liege, when you see the, the tools that they are using, they are very rudimentary tools. But then when you see the intricacy of the little things that they produce, the art of the liege, in fact, of course, it decorates walls and it, it makes this, uh, this beauty. But the real message is it's an art of sculpting the mind. Tangier, exotic, romantic, cosmopolitan. Bohemians from around the world have always come here, and expatriate American writers, William Burroughs, Tennessee Williams, and of course Paul Bowles. They came here to work, to live, and to drink mint tea. Noel El Mutawako, who won an Olympic gold medal for Morocco, and Cecilia Momstead, the Swedish ambassador to Morocco, got together and decided to create the first women's soccer league in Morocco. The sport really caught on, and today there are over 50 young women's soccer teams in Morocco competing all over the world. They have been uh, already taken at the, at the national level in the national team, and in the future they probably will be going even at the Olympic Games or the World Championships. Casablanca, Leila Benhima and a group of concerned women volunteer for Lurge Voyeurs, the Joyous Hour Foundation, which offers job training for young adults and preschool education for children. 
Their most important mission is to help increase school enrollment in rural areas. One of their successful projects is the donation of backpacks of books and school supplies to over 100,000 children. The Joyous Hour Foundation is giving these children a truly beautiful gift, a gift of education. Did you know that Morocco is the first country to recognize the sovereignty of the United States? This is a copy of the letter that George Washington sent to His Majesty Sultan Mohammed III. This treaty of peace and friendship signed by Morocco and the United States in 1787 and again in 1836 is still in force, making it the longest unbroken treaty in the diplomatic history of the United States. The Red City Marrakesh, the gateway to the Sahara. The magnificent peaks of the Atlas Mountains loom high over the red ochre ramparts and the exotic souks of Marrakesh. For over a thousand years, the Place Jama El Fna has been the central marketplace for camel traders, spice merchants, and caravans from the Sahara. In an ancient synagogue in the Kasbah, there are historical Jewish artifacts and the holy silver treasures. And then there are the gardens of Marrakesh. Brilliant architect Eli Mouayam is sensitive to the way Moroccans like to live and have lived for generations. He's finishing a new low-cost housing development for 500 families outside the walls of Marrakesh. Moyal borrows many features from the traditional walled Kasbah. These include houses not higher than two or three stories, a central courtyard to form the community's gathering point with a mosque at its heart, rooftop spaces that allow mothers to do laundry while watching their children play below, and front doors facing each other so that families can greet each other as they come and go. Moyal controls cost by using earth as a construction material. The local word for earth, dobe, is the root of our own word, adobe. What is interesting in adobe, it's to accept, for example, the cracks, to accept that it's not definitive. Idea, geometry, work, design, they are the tools to reach to the beauty. Beauty, it's crystallization of ideas. The imperial city of Fez is unique, one of the great ancient cities of the Islamic world. It's been a center of learning and culture since its earliest days. Morocco is proud of its history of religious tolerance and diversity. André Azoulay, descendant of a prominent Moroccan Jewish family, is counselor to His Royal Majesty King Mohammed VI. The Moroccan Jewish community was formed by two major waves. In Morocco, you can be Muslim, you can be Jewish, you can be Christian. The Moroccan example, it's a light for all of us. It means that it is possible. We can live together. Tolerance is something which is in us. It's the legacy of our parents and the legacy of our history. Casablanca, an Atlantic seacoast city with fabulous boulevards and hundreds of 1920 Art Deco buildings bustles with the energy of a modern metropolis. In the center of its Art Deco district is the workshop of Tommy Tazi, an internationally renowned fashion designer who specializes in the exquisite robes known as kaftans. Tommy Tazi personally supervises every aspect of her design and manufacture. Her clientele include royalty from around the world. 
A Moroccan Jewish family has commissioned her to design this traditional wedding dress. This dress has been carefully handed down since the 15th century. This is a unique wedding dress, especially because of the design of the skirt. And this design represents the rays of the sun. The embroidery of pure gold thread on silk is an ancient craft. It's traditionally practiced by men. The techniques are handed down from father to son. And finally, this unique kaftan shines miraculously in the late afternoon Moroccan sun. Weddings are joyful events in any culture. Weddings bring families together. Mohammed Marwan Boyard, a young internet engineer who now lives and works in Colorado. His traditional Moroccan wedding is being celebrated for five days and nights. The way it happened is basically my mom came to visit me from Morocco and I was basically talking to her and she was like, you live alone, you know, you need a wife and everything. So I was open to the idea and I was like, well, sure, I can get married. I am open to the idea. So she started sending me pictures of future wives. that sparked my mind is my my wife now. I've spoke to her like an instant, just like a link between us. And that's how we got our love connection going. I guess through emails and internet and phone, through technology. So I would probably say my marriage is more of a combination of a traditional Moroccan way by my family going and browsing to future brides. So that's how it happened. Just like uh, if you want to say adapt the American life, but with the Moroccan life. Out of the mists of time, Morocco emerges, mysterious, spectacular, and spellbinding. Cities as fantastic as dreams, scenery as magnificent as precious jewels, Modern universities, fabulous fashions, busy markets, vibrant music, delicious food, artistic treasures, jewelry and antiques, and magnificent scenery kissed by the North African sun. And of course the people of Morocco, open, friendly, generous and warm. Proud of their heritage, they share their country with us. Modern Morocco beckons, truly, Beast for the senses.
This program has been made possible by the generosity of Corral Petroleum Holdings AB, the U.S. Morocco Council for Trade and Investment, the Moroccan National Tourist Office, and Royal Air Morocco. Produced in cooperation with Prairie Public Television 